This is amazing. Now you can do function calling using Olama, which is completely running locally on your computer. Function calling is nothing but a JSON response from your large language model. Olama having open AI compatibility, now it's easier than ever to do function calling. We are going to do advanced level of function calling using Pydantic and Instructor tool. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Olama function calling. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to implement this and use it within your application. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So the first step, go to olama.ai website and make sure you download Olama according to your OS. Next, Olama pull Llama 2 and then click enter. This will automatically download the required model. Next, pip install hyphen u yfinance pydantic instructor openai. This will upgrade the packages if you've already installed before and click enter. Next, let's create a file called app.py and then let's open it. First, import requests, JSON, system, yfinance and you define the company name. So the ultimate goal is to find the stock price when you provide a company name. When a user enters a company name, that is Google, then it goes to the large language model and get the ticker symbol. Then that symbol is passed to Yahoo Finance to get the stock price. So ultimately the large language model is giving a JSON output that will be used to finally process our request. Now we have provided the company name. Next we need to define schema. So the schema will be the company name and the ticker. So that's the response we are expecting from a large language model. Next we are defining the payload. So the payload should contain the model name and messages. So this is a system message. You are a helpful AI assistant. The user will enter a company name and the output is a JSON using schema defined as before. That should have the company name and the ticker symbol. So here we are providing an example. So when we enter Apple, the assistant should respond with the JSON response with Apple and AAPL ticker. Then finally, we ask our question here by entering the company name. The format is JSON, streaming is false. Now I'm going to set the response by doing a post request to this URL. That is the Olama URL with the payload. Next, receiving the response and parsing the JSON. Then we are fetching the stock price from Yahoo Finance, getting the ticker symbol, passing that to Yahoo Finance, getting the history for one day, and finally getting the stock price of Google. Now we are printing out the results. So as a quick overview, as a user, we are sending the name of the company to the large language model and we are telling the large language model that we need a response in this format. And when we receive that format here in the company info, then we are parsing that data that is a symbol of Google and then getting the stock price using Yahoo Finance. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal Python app.py and then click enter. Now you can see the response. It's in JSON format company name Google and ticker is G-O-O-G-L. And the current stock price is 147.5. If you think, is this still efficient? No, sometime if we use some random large language model, or even when we try this again and again, we might get errors. But how can we fix this? How can we improve our response to always get the same JSON object? That's when we introduce Pydantic and Instructor. Pydantic and Instructor is a tool which makes sure the JSON response structure is always the same. Now we are going to implement that. This is a form of advanced function calling. So I'm creating a file called advanced.py and then let's open it. First, from OpenAI, import OpenAI. Next, we are importing base model and field from Pydantic. Next, we are importing list from typing. Next, Yahoo Finance. Next, instructor. Now we are defining the company name that is Google. It's same as before but the way we implement is slightly different. Next, we are defining a class named stock info and we are using the base model. Here we are defining the structure, which is the company name and the ticker. Next, we are going to define the instructor.patch function. That's where you define your base URL for Olama and you mention the API key. This API key could be anything. And here the mode is JSON response. This will automatically patch the OpenAI API to get the desired result. Next, the response, client.chat.completions.create. 
there you're providing the model name llama to the messages that is role user content return the company name and the ticker symbol of the company that's it only we are providing that in our previous example we provided the schema we provided an example and finally we gave the question here we are just giving one line and the schema goes in this response model variable stock info which we have defined here next for reference we are printing out the response now we are passing that response to yahoo ticker so the g o o g l symbol is passed to yahoo ticker to get the stock price and finally we are printing out the results so a slight modification the schema goes in here which is pydantic base model and we use instructor to patch the open ai then we are doing a chat completions create that is the large language model finally we are converting that symbol to stock price using yahoo finance now i'm going to run this code in your terminal python advanced.py and click enter now you can see the same json structure is here and the stock price of google is 147.5 this is much more reliable than our previous program without pydantic i'm really excited about this i'm going to create more videos similar to this so stay tuned i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching